Okay, from there we're going to move to the... This is a dramatic jump. This is a dramatic jump and it's a dramatic uh, change in case shape too. We're talking of course about the Hamilton Ventura. It was designed by the uh, industrial designer Richard Arib. I love this watch. Every person I've met wearing this watch, I have them filed away. I can remember every person I've ever met who wore this watch. It's that distinctive and the other thing about this watch is it's super comfortable to wear because of that wedge shape. It just nestles onto the wrist. I actually find it really, really comfortable. Well, I mean, it's a watch from the from the 50s and it still feels super sort of futuristic, doesn't it, today? It does. I mean, As demonstrated by the two movies it was in. Yeah, so the first movie um, we saw it in was Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. uh, Blue Hawaii. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose Elvis Day is probably better known for his music than, than his, uh, his cinematic outings. Then we move over to, would it have been the 90s? Men in Black. 97. 90s, oh, good, good, good knowledge. Just listen we, to the we've got, uh, we, uh, <laughs> we've got Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. Both, yeah. they, were, they were playing, what, what, what would you call them? They're sort of like uh, alien bounty hunters. That's exactly what you call them. Um, quick quiz question. Mm -hmm. Who was Tommy Lee Jones's roommate at university? I have no idea. It was the American Deputy Prime Minister, Al Gore. No way. Fun fact for you there. Yeah. Um, Let's see if that makes the cut. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, I mean, we're sort of staying futuristic from there uh, because we have a watch that is just so cool. In 1972, they came out with the world's first mass-produced digital watch. That was the Hamilton Pulsar, and it was a digital watch, but back then it was also a serious status symbol. This watch, yeah. it came out, it was, it, was, it was gold, it cost 2,000 US dollars, which is about was the equivalent. Was it in gold? It was in gold. Wow. It was the equivalent of about $20,000 back then. And wow. all the celebrities snapped it up. And you can see why, because it, it's the ultimate futuristic statement, not only because of the groundbreaking quartz technology and LED technology, but also this, this sort of nuggety, uh, how would you say, it's almost like a cushion case shape and then the bracelet, super luxe Jubilee style bracelet, uh, all brushed, but uh, a real style statement and continues to be this, this what was, is it kitsch or is it just I think it's just, it's just the a retro futuristic classic. Mm -hmm. And I guess if you wanna know one man who appreciates his gadgets, we have to go, of course, to a certain, uh, certain secret agent, James Bond. Yes. So in Live and Let Die, Roger Moore, Easily the best James Bond in my book. Um, yep. He wore the, the the Hamilton Pulsar, and that is a surprise. Like when you go back through the canon of Bond watches, you know there are certain models that gain a lot of uh, that, that have taken a lot of bandwidth. But Bond could move with the times. Yeah, and some interesting facts about that film in Live and Let Die, Roger Moore he also wears a Rolex Submariner. But back at the time, the Hamilton watch was more expensive than the Rolex. Wow. And that's a great note to finish on. And believe me, this is only the beginning. We could keep going. They, they actually created a watch for Christopher Nolan in uh, Tenet. It just goes on and on. And it's because it's part of their DNA. It's a brand with a serious uh, heritage. And also, let, as we can tell, it's certainly not camera shy. No. <laughs> Neither are we. I think not. Well, I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Time and Tide. Let's, let's finish by choosing our weapon. Uh, what are you going to choose? I, I'm afraid I have to go. I'm a field watch guy. I love this uh, this bronze field watch. I just think yeah. it's 38 millimeters. It's right on the money for me. Man, Elvis, baby. Look, I think I don't know. Does every collection need a Ventura? Let's let's just say it does. I think I really want this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What would you choose? <laughs>